All right, one last tool to look at here. Today we're going to talk about the bevel tool. Now we won't see our bevel tool over here when we go into edit mode. We're going to have to access that. If you're going to follow along, go ahead and create a second cube. And then we're going to hop into edit mode. And I will uh, just close the gap here a little bit. Now we have two ways we can reach our bevel tool. We can use the hotkey W, which brings up our specials menu. You'll see down here we have bevel, and it shows its singular hotkey, which is control B. So we can try that too. And that'll immediately bevel all of our edges. And we can move our mouse and that will allow us to decide the size of the bevel. We can also scroll our mouse wheel and that will decide how many bevels we want to have. All pretty handy stuff. And once we right click to finish this operation, then we can see over here we have several choices in what type of bevel, which are almost always going to be an offset. We can choose how much our bevel amount is, and you can see that change as I adjust it. We can change how many segments if we want. And let's take our segments down to one. And let's hit this vertex only button. And you can see we get an entirely different type of bevel now where it only beveled out the corner vertexes. Bevel will pretty much operate only on lines except for that checkbox. You can select a bunch of vertices and use the bevel tool. But what it's really going to look at is what lines you've ended up highlighting by selecting them. But you can get an interesting effect there. All right, that's pretty good. Let's see what else we can do here. I'm going to head and scroll out and I'm going to hit tab. I'm going to select here, go back into tab, move this over so I can have a look. I'm going to hit control tab and choose my edge menu. This time I'm just going to select one edge. Now I'm going to hit control B and you can see that we can also bevel along a single edge. Not bad. We can also scroll how many times we want to do that. And so that allows us to get some pretty interesting shapes going on. We could also go to control tab and choose face mode choose our bottom face, and we could bevel that again. And we could scroll how many faces we want. So I think you can start to see how handy the bevel tool is. It's also important simply because most of the time when you're modeling for games or for film or something like that, Beveling your edges here, at least here and there, if not most of your edges, depending on what kind of poly count you can work with, gives a sense of depth and solidity to things. It makes it seem more real. When we have these corners like this, it just looks like it's more of an actual thing, basically. All right, that'll pretty much cover the bevel tool. And again, just like our last tool, this is one that we now have a modifier for that allow us to do a few more things. But I wanted you guys to see this because a lot of times in a bevel operation, you really only need the quick, simple, down and dirty solution and control B or your w, w menu can get you there very quickly. All right. This really is the last video in this chapter before we move on to our lab. I hope you guys have enjoyed what you learned here. Now, let's go apply it.
I'll see you there.